Would you say this is the fiercest derby in the non-league in the UK? Yes, yes, definitely. Mate, look at the, the police police helicopters out. Look at this banner, the Talbot boys will get out. Fuck CGFC. Oh! Oh! That was a kick. A few kicks up there. It's all kicked off now. The fans are offering for fights outside. Over the last year, we have went all over Scotland and showed you non-league football at its finest. We've seen derbies all over the place and let's just say you guys have loved them. However, today what you're going to see is something that you have not seen anything like in your life before. Today I am bringing you to without doubt, no questions, the fiercest derby in non-league football. Yes, today we are here in Auchinleck to bring you Auchinleck Talbot versus Cumnock Juniors. So if you're not clued up and you don't know about this derby, let me introduce you. As a young boy, I grew up in a village just called Ochiltree, a couple of miles south of this place right here. So this is a derby that's very, very close to my heart. However, this is a derby that I was never allowed to go to when I was younger. So today, despite growing up in this area, this is the first time I am going to be going to this derby and that might give you a little bit of information as to how fierce this game is Look at this, somebody's garden here walking up to the ground Walking like Talbot, Talbot Talbot, Talbot They take football so differently here This rivalry right here is on a different level Why is this derby so big? Why is this rivalry so fierce? Well, it all comes down to geographical locations. As normal with derbies, it tends to be town versus town. However, this is a little bit different. These two towns are actually joined up against each other. These towns are on their own in the middle of nowhere. So there is literally a line that crosses from one town to another. It is mental when you think about it. And that has carved the way for the derby that we are going to see today. Over the years, both of these teams have been fighting at the very top of the Scottish Junior game. Just last season, we seen Cumnock crowned the champions of the whole of the Scottish Juniors in remarkable fashion for the first time in over 20 years. Usually, that tends to be Auchinleck Talbot. We have seen them win it two years ago. So it just shows you, it's not just the rivalry that they're fighting for, they're also fighting for silverware and they're also fighting to be the best in the area. So you might ask, why have I never been to this game? Why wasn't I allowed to come to this game? Well, see when you think about an old firm, times that by 10 and you'll get the violence that you get at this game. This game right here is the only game that I know of in non-league football that fans have to be segregated apart, come in different turnstiles and separated away from each other. Today, you're going to see Cumnock fans segregated away. You're going to have a block in between them so that they can't get to each other and you're going to see stewards in between the fans. At a non-league game, when you think about it, when the fans all mix in, that is incredible. You never see this in non-league. And it just shows you how much these two clubs hate each other. In the past, we've seen games suspended. We've seen police horses, fans throwing bottles at each other. It has been mental. And you may expect some more of that today because Cumnock and Auchinleck Talbot are both fine for the top position in the league. This is a stadium with such a nostalgia for me. I grew up coming to this stadium and it's good to be back. The first time I've been back here since I stayed here over 10, 15 years ago. Wow. We are here. Right, let's go and show you about. Come on. Oft, we are back. Just 10, 12 years ago, maybe, I would have been standing right here with my dad watching the football. It's so weird being back here again. And what a game it is to be back for. I'm so excited for this game. This is a game I've been wanting to come to for years now. Obviously, I wanted to come when I was younger. My mum and dad wouldn't let me. So, without further ado, let's go and show you around this stadium. Show you what I can like Talbot have to offer. So if you don't know about Auchinleck Talbot, Auchinleck Talbot are one of the most successful football teams in Scotland. This club, as you can see with the size of this stand here, are no small club. 
the supports that this club bring can go from 400 all the way up to 2,000. And today, you're going to see the top end of that. You're going to see this place packed out. And you are going to see a support and a crowd that is definitely capable of even being in the Scottish Championship. Look at this park. Look at the stripes on it for the end of February. Jesus, this is better than Celtic Park at the moment. <laughs> Incredible. Obviously, a lot of money's been put into it. They need to make sure this fixture is a good one. And my God... They've got that pitch right, that's an absolute carpet. Wow. Today, this is a game that, let's be honest, both of us, it's been non-stop requests, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah. For years, mate, ever since I came to my first Talbot game, it was always like people were telling me, like, you have to come to the derby, you have to come to the derby. As soon as it would roll around, weeks before, you're getting messages, comments on videos, people saying you got to come and finally we're here. I don't know if you've seen up there, but they, some of these gates had Talbot all over mate, them. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? All the little houses around here, like every couple of houses, like there's gates for Talbot. I don't even think you'd see that in... Edinburgh, like Hibs and Hearts, the size of those clubs with these small little villages just seem to love their football, don't they? Yeah. What are you looking forward to most of the... The atmosphere. Like, I don't think we're going to see... Mate, look at the, the police the helicopters, police helicopters out. Them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what, what, what other non-league game would you get a helicopter out? <laughs> no, I guess the atmosphere and, like, we were talking about on my videos, so the segregation. Yeah. Segregation Fan, fans segregated that a non-league game. Yeah, sixth tier game like this. Um, and just the, the hype around it. I mean, like, we've been told about this game for so just to be here finally to take it off is like sort of bucket list stuff so you were working with Cumnock last year you're working with fucking like this year if anybody knows this derby and knows how much each club hates each other it's definitely you explain to the people how big this rivalry is for me it's the biggest derby outside maybe the championship in Scotland you know like it means so much to the villages uh, about here and you know you hear Rock and Lake it's synonymous with Cumnock and vice versa everybody knows what this means um, so yeah massive game today I grew up in Oak Tree, however, I was never allowed to come to this game because of how fierce it was. What are we going to expect today? I think that's, obviously that was, we grew up in the same kind of era where there was a lot of the trouble happening, you know, into the mid 2000s. But I think competitively on the park, it's, it's simmered down a bit. But today, obviously, you don't want to be condoning any violence. But there's high stakes today with both teams still having a chance of you know finishing high in the league. So you don't want to condone any violence, but it could get a wee bit tasty on and off the park. This game right here, would you say there's anything bigger in the junior game? Ah, it's huge. I've been involved in a lot of big games, you know, and there's a lot of big derbies in this this level of the game. But this is huge. This is a huge one. They'll expect a big crowd. They'll expect a passionate game. They'll expect a competitive game. Um, aye, it'll be entertainment. You're likely to come out and talk in these games. Uh, and certainly no lose one. That's when it's no it's no nice being in the losing side. I would imagine a few challenges. Uh, a bit of oh, a bit of football. Hopefully, hopefully we can play uh, show we're at a decent level. Uh, but a, a good result for Talbot, hopefully. Who are you supporting? Talbot. Talbot? Yeah. And for the people that don't know, how mad is this game? Crazy. Is it? Hi. So what happened in the last game? You were, you were telling me about? Uh, coming up front, got chucking stuff and all that. Pyros getting chucked, folk getting kicked out and setting pyros for the Tapa Polos vans. No way, so they were, I've seen they were all running on the park fighting each other and uh, stuff. Uh, Madness. Uh, Who's winning the day? Talbot. What's the score going to be? 3-1 Who are you supporting today? Gumlet And who's going to win? Gumlet 3-2 Have you been to this game before? Hundreds of times, yes And what is this derby like compared to other ones? It's wild Mental? Mm -hmm. Do you think there's going to be madness here today? Yes What's the score going to be? 3-2 Gumlet Look at that The young ultras that we are going to see here today You can hear them with their drums Look at them at Cumnock earlier on in the season. That is what we are going to see summer today. Boys, it's Derby Day. Aye. For the people that don't know, how big is this Derby? Biggest Derby in junior football. You just said that they're the biggest Derby in non-league football? Aye. Right, how much do you hate Talbot? Fucking hate them the most. I hate them with hate them with 100. 100. And how much would it mean to win this game of the... I would pay £5 for us to win at least. What's the score going to be? 3 0 come look. 2 1 come look. 2 1. 2 0. 2 1. Perfect, get the badger. <laughs> and who's going to win the day? What's the score going to be? 16 0 come look. 16 0? Fair play. 
I see that noise. Look at this banner for the Talbot fans, anti CGFC. The hatred is real. And we're off. Look at the crowd here today. Look at all that. Come up all along there. Packed, absolutely packed out here today. Look at this banner, the Talbot boys have got out. Fuck CGFC. Look at the hatred. Oh, oh my god, what a miss. What a chance. To take the lead. Right, Kenny, we're watching this game here, and you've just told me how mad this derby used to be. I thought it isn't just now. Yeah, but. When the main was running their goal, it was crazy. And uh, they never been off the way, losing their goal. And you couldn't walk down the main street. I thought it would come again. It was a young boy. It was crazy. So you couldn't walk down the main street of a different, a different uh, town? There were thousands of folk who ever was told about it. And the build up for weeks was the Talbot gun again. And to be fair, Talbot won the right to eat. Yeah. But we came good. We came good. So history will tell you. <laughs> so if people were to argue saying this this derby isn't really fair, this derby isn't what what would you say well, about that? Well, it's it's not as crazy as it used to be. I'm mental, but yeah. over mental. Would you say this is the fiercest derby in the non-league in the UK? Yes, yes, definitely. That's what it's all about. Flying challenges. Look at the passion here. Every ball means something, every ball counts. Oh, oh, oh my god. He just scalped that for 40 yards. There is no way. Oh, oh! There's an opener. Talbot take the lead. A long ball in that was he dealt with. Yes! Oh my god, man! <laughs> See the amount of challenges in this, somebody's leg is going to get broken. This is mental. There we go, half time. Talbot lead 1 0. Yes. Same again, second half. <laughs> Listen to these shouts, man. Big free kick here for Talbot. Look at them all pushing in the box. Shoot. Yes! Oh! Wow! What a goal! And just like that, Talbot League 2 0, look what it means. The boys are bouncing. They're 2 0 up. Another yellow card. Jesus, man, that's about five. It's not even 60 minutes in. Another yellow card. Man's on the happy. <laughs> this game's heated up so much more. 20 minutes to go. Next goal's going to be vital. Come not get it, they're back in it. All can like Talbot get it, it's game over. Oh! Oh, what a tackle that is. Don't know how he's done it, but he's done it. <laughs> oh, tackle. Oh my, that's a ball. <laughs> Look how much it means to these guys. <laughs> Point at the camera, my guy. The Talbot fans are singing cheerio. The Cumlock fans are off. It's been a demolition here. Oh, it's been sent. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. oh my. What fat went in? Wow. Oh my. Talbot are running right here. Look at these fans. Oh. 
Norwich, they can be six in the second half. Singing Tom Locker falling apart again. The remaining fans that were there, they're all off. Look, offering for fights outside, look. The fans offering for fights outside. To think that Cumberland were dominating the first half, Cumberland were the better side. As soon as that first goal went in, and then the second, after half time, Cumberland had crumbled. And just like usual, Talbot have taken full advantage of it. You can see why they are such a successful team, one of the most successful in Scottish football. Once again, the experience has played a massive part. The players, Tommy Sloan is the manager, he's played in so many of these derbies. He definitely knows how to win them, and he's done it again today. Oh my. Oh, so close to being five. Cumnock have collapsed. He's in. Oh. Oh. That was a kick, a few kicks up there. It's all kicking off now with the players. Look at this. Look at this with the players now. I do not know how he's got away with that there. Look at the reaction of the fans. And there we go, full time. It has been a Talbot demolition. The derby that belongs to Talbot. And these Talbot boys are loving it. Look at this. The game's finished and they're still giving it. The hatred is real. Well, there you have it. The UK's fiercest derby. And my God, what a game it was. You've seen there just at the end how much it meant to the fans. Talbot, the professionalism, the experience came into it at the end. Come look, they're a new side. They've got new players, a new manager. It was always going to be a tough task coming here. However... Let's just say this derby is definitely one to be reckoned with. If you've not already, click that subscription button. Thank you for joining me in this one and I will see you in the next one.